The deal is being called a game changer. For nearly $14 billion, Amazon takes over Whole Foods. As Rick Ritter reports from the Whole Foods in Harbor East, it's just the latest bold move by the online shopping giant. Amazon will now pick up more than 400 Whole Foods stores across the country, making them a major player in the grocery industry. It's a deal that rattles the grocery industry. Amazon swallows up Whole Foods in a monster move that will cost close to $14 billion. The company that's dominated mass retailing now slides on to the next level. Amazon's taking over the world because that's a real big switch. The online shopping giant will have at least 460 physical stores to try out new methods with its Amazon delivery service. Imagine that now when you want to buy something from Amazon, you can order them and then pick them up right at Whole Foods in the Amazon locker. Supermarket gurus call it a game changer. This is only going to help Amazon. It's only going to help Whole Foods. It's only going to help consumers. I mean, this is a win-win for everybody. Some say the goal is for Amazon to shed Whole Foods' pricey image, and with that, it could mean job cuts. But so far, Amazon has denied that there will be any layoffs. The news generating mixed reaction in Harbor East. I think it'll be great for all parties to for them, for Amazon, for us. Different corporation taking over can hurt, can help, we'll see. Experts note that most Whole Foods shoppers are already familiar with Amazon, lining up for what could be a smooth transition. Whole Foods customers, by and large, are also Amazon users, they're Amazon Prime, and they're very open to the online way of buying. The deal still needs approval from Whole Foods shareholders, but should be wrapped up by the end of this year. In Harbor East tonight, I'm Rick Ritter. WJZ Eyewitness News. Rick, thank you. Amazon's acquisition of Whole Foods sent stock prices plummeting for other grocers.